What's going on everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about AMC stock. I wanted to jump on here on this Tuesday afternoon and go over a couple different things that are being passed around the internet. One of them being the new short interest and the number of shares shorted of four AMC, which is record numbers. We're going to go over that in a little bit more detail and why I think it's important. And then we're also going to be talking about the DTCC 2021-005 ruling. I covered that on my channel ever since April 1st, okay? And now it's been passed all around the internet that the ruling has been removed from the DTCC website, okay? And everybody's a little bit up in arms about what's happening. There's also been a post that I am gonna go over where it says that an individual had reached out to a general counsel that works for the DTCC and they said that they were changing some things to it, okay, and it'll be back up soon. So guys, I'm gonna give you my input, what I see uh, actually happening with this and what it could mean for us. And then like I said, I'm also gonna go over it as well in case you are new guys. So stick around, you're not gonna wanna miss this. For those of you that are new to the channel, all I ask is that you hit that like button and subscribe to join the family. If you're interested in joining our private community, it is the first link in the description. I would love to have you. We have over 400 members and if you're interested guys, Check it out, it's a really great community. So let's get into the video, guys. First off, let's just talk about where we're finding this information. This is directly from the DTCC website right here. Okay, as you look, the latest one is the 2021-004 and the 802. The 005 has been removed. Now, a couple things I wanna talk about. First, let's just get into exactly what it is and what it means. Check out this article. I've talked about it probably in two videos now. It's from the tokenist.com. It really breaks down in very uh, brief detail what it means for us. It's a 45 page PDF document that has a lot of legal, you know, mumbo jumbo in there. And this just really breaks down what it means for us and why it's important and how we're how everything was led up to the reasoning for why this um rule was proposed okay so what's a highlight is what's really important for us the fact that is the hedge funds would no longer be able to hide their positions by abusing call option in the money trading okay and also be able to mask their short positions like they have been doing so it was very good news for us as the retail investors now First thing I want to point out, guys, okay, and this is a part of my own, you know, DD, is let me just highlight this right here. The proposed rule change was approved by the Deputy General Counsel on April 1st, okay? This isn't a third party, okay, or a group of, you know, protesters, individuals trying to get a rule change. This was proposed okay and approved by the deputy general counsel of the dtc now when you go to the dtcc website you see a bunch of different proposals right here all right regulatory rules and, and so forth and you also see amendments okay and revisions if you go over to page two it's the same thing amendments revisions they're adding stuff they're updating and so forth and as you get farther in i'm just going to go to page five but as you get farther in it all has the federal release number date file number and so forth all right and it has every information that's everything to do with the changes the amendments and so forth so when people talk about the potential for it just to be an amendment for it to be changing for it to be so forth or maybe it could have been a computer glitch maybe it was taken down i don't really we don't have an answer yet for exactly what happened all that has been around on the internet and passed around is complete speculation i'm also going to highlight this right here i don't really like to highlight reddit stuff guys you know because like i said it, you you see a wide range of stuff but this is an ind individual that's been passed all around the internet saying he re he wrote he reached out to the director and assistant general counsel and they said that it was a technical formatting issue with the filing It'll be refiled shortly. In substance, it will remain the same. Now, does that make sense that it could have been a technical or a clerical error? Absolutely. Therefore, you would want to take it down. Does it seem like they're going to be changing the ruling? Well, no, because if they were going to be changing the ruling, it, you would have seen just like everything else. There would be an amendment or a revision, okay, or an update, and we're not seeing that. All right. Now, do I think that this is over for us and that, you know, the hedge funds got in for it and it just got canceled? 
No, I do not. All right. And I also know that, that you know, that everybody had said, a lot of people have said, and I've done my own research that the DTCC has really been against the retail trader for some years. Sure, they have. And there's been proof of that. If you read there's and research years, years, you know, uh, previously, there has been a lot of research and, you know, credibility to believe that they were against us, the retail investors and for these big institutionals, institutional investors and the hedge funds. However, this was already, and keep an eye on this, guys, this was already proposed and approved by the Deputy General Counsel, which means if this was proposed but denied from them right away, then I could see that, okay, you know what, this should have been a good rule change, but they're not on our side. But it was already approved, already made through that step one, and they were looking for the SEC. However, we also know that considering these massive, massive amount of changes are happening all at once, the SEC really needs to take a bird's eye view and look at exactly what's happening and how it can affect the entire market, okay? Because just like everything in life has rules and regulations, think about, you know, traffic violations, speeding tickets. Just because the speed limit is 65 doesn't mean you can't go over 65 or no one's going to go over 65. Or if you go 66, you're immediately going to get a ticket. No, it's only if you get caught, especially now where I am in Connecticut. I can't speak for every state, but especially now it seems like police are almost non-existent in some areas. All right. And you find yourself doing 80, 85 down the road, like it's nothing. And everybody's moving the same speed because naturally over time, when nobody keeps an eye and is there to enforce the rules, people tend to push that mark. And that's exactly what these hedge funds have done. So the SEC, before they can really crack down, okay, on the you know what has been violated, they also need to take a bird's eye view to dive a little bit deeper and make sure it does not royally affect the entire market as a whole because they need to look at everything as a whole. It can't just look at one small piece of it, guys. So keep that in mind. I do think that this is going to be for us and this is also going to be really, you know, positive and beneficial in the long run for the financial system. All right. It's just going to take a little bit of time. All right. So be patient on that one. Next thing I want to talk about, and this is going to be the last thing I talk about, guys. This is shortsqueeze.com. This is one I always use. And it is the update current shares short for AMC, 73.8 million from 49.3 million. That is a 50% increase, okay? Now, if you jump over here to marketwatch.com, all right, this is, like I said, you can verify this with a bunch of different other ones. I'm just going to use MarketWatch. Um Right here, it verifies that that 73.8 number is accurate. I always like to look at a couple different, um, you know, sources to be able to do that. The record, the record date is April A, which is the 2021st. If you go over to the data updates right here, I believe it says April 8th is the 12th. So this is the latest information that we have. Guys, this is huge because we've known that they've continued to short and short and short. But now this is also being publicized. It's being exposed. Okay. And there's only so much more that they can do and drive that price down before eventually it's not going to have the same effect as it has in the past guys so keep that in the back of your mind guys i am still holding on to my position i might have added a little bit to my position as well i let everybody know how much in my private community and if you're interested like i said click the link down below we'd love to have you but guys that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one